have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. What do I mean by this? Well, you got to be curious. You know, talents come and go. I know I've known a lot of guys that have a lot of talent but no work ethic, and I've known a lot of guys that have all work ethic and no talent. I'll tell you this: I'd rather have the guy who has a lot of work ethic and is a lot of real curious than some guy that has talent and no work ethic. In this environment, a lot of people become this. Portfolios drop in value, and we go, oh, I'm not going to open my statements. Put our head in the sand. It'll, it'll get better. Things will improve. That's what we hope for. But the reality is, is in this environment, you need to be like these guys, little meerkats, always standing up, sniffing the air, listening to what's going on, getting a feel of what's uh, thumping on the ground. That's what we need to be as investors. If you've preserved your capital, if you've been able to keep what you got, this is the time that you really should be very curious because there's some incredible opportunities out there. Within the next six months, you will see a bottom within this market. If it's not in the next six months, it definitely will be within the next 12. And so this is the time that you want to be searching. You want to be looking for opportunities because there's a lot of good quality companies out there whose prices are getting beat up well beyond where they should be, but because the environment is so negative. So if you have cash, you need to be out there and being curious. If you're not doing it, you gotta hire somebody that is. Make sure whoever's giving you advice on your money is curious, that they're out there searching. The last thing that you want right now is an advisor who's scared, who's nervous, who doesn't understand the cycles of where the markets are. What you want is somebody who's curious, who's confident, who's always out there searching for opportunities, because they're there, and you just gotta uncover them. 